Well, hello there, folks. How are you? It's lovely to see you again and a very warm welcome as usual back to What's for Tea and for our meals of the week this week. I nearly forgot about you. It was Mr What's for Tea had said to me, have you uploaded Meals of the Week this week? And I thought, no, I haven't and I haven't even done the voiceover. So here I am a wee bit later than normal. So thank you very much for coming over just to see what we had this week. If you're new and this is your first time here, my name's Cheryl, this is What's For Tea and this is just our sort of main meals of the week or we call them tea but you might call them dinner and I just like to put these videos up because it might give you ideas for you and your own family. That's why I started making the videos in the first place. I just love watching these videos on YouTube because it does give you ideas. You know if you're in, I'm stuck in a bit of a rut and not sure what to make. I'm no chef, I'm no cook, nothing like that obviously just a very basic home cook using up what I've got and stay until the end of the video if you've entered this month's Degust the Box giveaway. So on Monday we had fish cakes with some creamy mashed potato, that's a smoked haddock and a salmon fish cake and some mushy peas as well with a wee sprinkling of parsley on top and to make my fish cakes you know it's ever so easy you know and I will do a recipe on these but I use a cookie cutter just to get a nice uniform shape. Moving on to Tuesday and we had chicken burgers. You know, the weather has been roasting here. So there's quite a few sort of fast foody takeaway inspired meals this week. So we had a toasted brioche bun with some mayo and lettuce smoked cheese and some uh, chicken burger and some more melted smoked cheese. The top of the bun, some chips, some buttered corn <laughs> and some um, coleslaw and a couple of beer battered onion rings. That's quite a plateful and definitely a mouthful. Absolutely delicious. And again, my, my cookie cutter came out just to get the nice round circles of cheese. Moving on to Wednesday, I got some pork chops from the local butcher and had a wee jacket potato. That's the pork chops there and they're absolutely delicious. And I made some peas and corn and a very quick and easy apple cider gravy. I just use the remainder of the juices from the pork chops in the pan. Add some instant gravy, a wee dash of apple cider vinegar and just let the whole lot bubble away and just till it thickens. And this day we had bangers and mash. So again, some creamy mashed potatoes, some pork sausages from the butcher. And of course, we've got to have baked beans with this kind of thing. And very simple, but absolutely delicious. Moving on to Friday and we had cauliflower cheese and uh, other things as well. <laughs> so that's the cauliflower cheese. And we had a wee pie and some of these mini roast potatoes and some green beans on the side. Again, very, very simple but absolutely delicious. We love cauliflower cheese and I could actually have this every day. You know, it's so simple and so easy to make. And this is it just out of the oven bubbling away. And that was the wee baby roasted potatoes. Lovely. Moving on to Saturday, we had hot dogs and it was absolutely boiling yesterday. So we've got some brioche buns, some mozzarella cheese, some posh dogs from M&S, some coleslaw, some of these crispy sliced potatoes and some ketchup and crispy onions on top. You know, the, most of us are not lovers of mustard. I love mustard. I had mustard on mine, but these were the M&S posh dogs and these were lovely. They're more of a sausage than a hot dog, but they were so tasty, lovely and smoky. And these were the buns that went with them. Moving on to today and we had pizza. Yeah, I know. Shocker. Pizza on a Sunday. So we had tea outside and a couple of these pizzas you'll have seen in my Sainsbury's haul. This was the ricotta and chicken tomato pizzas. I made a massive salad and also a bowl of chips as well. There's everything in that salad. And like I said, we just had this outside. So we had basically half a pizza each, you know, with the chips and the salad. And it was just lovely sitting outside. You know, I've got a sort of parasol dining table set up out the back and this was what was in the salad so it's basically some lettuce and tomato some red pepper and some fresh basil and then some wee drizzle of olive oil and some grated parmesan cheese and some croutons i give that a good old stir just to get everything nicely combined before i add in some more bits and bobs so i put in some shaved parmesan 
and some of this reduced fat Caesar dressing. This is lovely and not too many calories at all. It's lovely and light and surprisingly creamy. A wee handful of grated mozzarella and then I just put a big spoon in and just let everybody dig in and these pizzas are lovely and they're less than 500 calories you know if you're going to have the whole pizza we didn't we actually had about half of this each you know I, I did slice them all up and into sort of triangles but we probably had half a pizza each at the end but they were so tasty just before i move on to your degusta box giveaway for this month i wanted to say as usual a massive thank you to the supporters over on my patreon page and to the channel members here on youtube as well it's very much appreciated guys so thank you once again and thank you to you all for watching if you're leaving at this point for everybody else staying on this is just the winner of your degusta box for april so good luck to you if you've decided to enter i just use a website called commentpicker.com and that's the one i use every month it's super simple and easy to use so yeah fingers crossed and good luck to you if you've decided to enter so let me go and show you who won this month so all you'd have to do is pop in your video into this wee box and then it'll go and find the entries. And that's the entries there. So quite a few this month actually. I was quite surprised. And then you just click start and it'll go and find your winner. So good luck. And there is your winner there. So Diane Hubber, congratulations to you. And I have seen you around for quite a wee while. So thank you very much for entering. And I think you actually might be in the state. So what you're going to have to do now is contact me within the next four days. If I don't hear from you within the next four days, I will just donate your box or the contents of your box to a local food bank so yeah you'll find my um email address in the description box underneath the video or if you follow me over on instagram you can give me a wee dm over there and we'll find a way of getting your box to you so yeah well done to you and thank you very much for entering and thank you everyone for entering this month but if you haven't won make sure to check back next month because i do do one of these giveaways every month so thank you very much for popping over like i said in the beginning just to see what we had for the tea this month it is very much appreciated so until i see you next which is going to be another wee recipe and unboxing and another wee shopping haul and then back on sunday for another meals of the week so whenever you choose to join me again guys mind to take care of yourselves and i do mean that take care of yourselves and i'll see you off as soon back here on what's for tea so take care and bye for now bye now